the results are in regarding possible environmental issues at Bayshore High School in Bradenton, which some believe is connected to a cancer cluster. An engineering firm has determined that there are no significant concerns. ABC 7's Rick Adams has more from the Manatee County School District building. Well, this is an issue that continues to stir up quite a bit of controversy. On Tuesday, the school board here had a chance to hear the results from the study. There's some relief for students and faculty at Bayshore High School in Bradenton. Test results from groundwater samples at the school show that there aren't any significant concerns. But there still remain some unanswered questions about the many cases of cancer in former students who attended the high school. At least we know that the students and the faculty that are, ne that are there now are safe and they should not, they will not be exposed to the things that we were potentially exposed to. Tampa based engineering consultant GHD conducted the two studies and presented their results to the Manatee County School Board during a workshop on Tuesday. The group says they've identified eight possible sources of contamination, including materials with asbestos, to the two irrigation wells, all of which they concluded that there are very minimal risks to the students. School officials say this cancer cluster issue is far from over. The determination of whether whether there truly is a cancer cluster needs to be completed before any other discussion of a resolution can be had. Next up with all this, the Manatee County School Board is hopeful that the County Health Department will take a much closer look at this cancer cluster issue. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News.